Hello there folks, my name is Spunks and welcome back to another episode of Box Office Chat. This is the show where I break down what happened at the top five domestic box office, see where each movie landed, and see how well they did. So let's get started. Number five was The Career, which made $1.04 million this weekend, bringing its domestic and worldwide total to around $3 million. So yeah, not a lot to say with this one. It met my expectations last week and it's meeting my expectations this week. It's definitely another one of those movies that's probably just going to come and go and we'll only see on the series for a while despite critical acclaim. But what I will say is that it's very impressive how it was able to hold off well from last week because while yeah last week it made a little over a million dollars and this made significantly less, other movies may have dipped a low. A million made like 800,000 or 700,000. Well, this movie was still able to make a little over a million dollars in its second week, which is very impressive, I will say the least. So I'll give this movie that. It's whole, it did hold on better than I expected, but still not a whole lot to say. So let's move on to number four, which is Chaos Walking which made $1.2 million this weekend, bringing its domestic total to $11 million and its worldwide total to $16 million. So again, another movie where I don't really have a whole lot to say. It crossed the $10 million mark, at least, and I do think it's a safe bet to say that $15 million domestic is on the table, but I, do f- I definitely feel like that this movie will be leaving the top five very soon, as it's already at... Over a little over a million dollars, and while it's been holding off stronger than I anticipated, I definitely thought it would have dropped significantly a few times before. I think maybe it's got at least two weeks, to say the least, and then it's we're probably not going to hear from this movie again in this series. Number three is Tom and Jerry, which made $2.5 million this weekend, adding to a domestic total of $37 million and a worldwide total of $85 million. So it's about $3 million away from becoming one of the few movies to cross the $40 million mark domestically, which is insane. But what's even more impressive is that it's now sitting at $15 million away from $100 million worldwide. And I definitely think... We will be seeing these numbers very soon. I definitely think the $40 million is something we'll see before the $100 million, but still very impressive. This movie's been doing really well, and we'll see how it does in the future and when it inevitably competes with the other titans of the pan- post-pandemic, like Wonder Woman 1984, Croods 2, and Tenant domestically. It's got a long way to go with meeting Tenant worldwide, but domestically, I think it has a chance. It may not beat it, but I think it will have a chance. Number two is Raya and the Last Dragon, which made $3.7 million this weekend, bringing its domestic total to $28 million and its worldwide total to $90 million. So speaking of milestones, this movie is just $2 million away from crossing the $30 million mark domestically, which is incredible. And what's even more impressive is that it's just $10 million away from $100 million worldwide it's doing better than tom and jerry worldwide it's still got a long way to go domestically but the fact that it's already almost there is impressive this has got to be one of the fastest movies to cross the 100 million dollar mark worldwide on this show which is insane i've also heard reports that this movie is starting to outpace the crude in terms of ticket sales and that it's slowly but surely starting to outpace tom and jerry which is great especially considering their opening weekends the fact that this movie opened a little lower and now is starting to outpace them is just great so another congratulations to raya and the last dragon you're doing well and i can't wait to see you when you get to the hundred million dollar milestone worldwide And finally, let's end the video off with the number one movie of the weekend, and that is Nobody, which made $6.8 million on its opening weekend domestically, and is sitting at $12 million worldwide. So I have a feeling that this movie may have met a lot of our expectations. It fell under mines a little. I thought it would open to at least a little better, like $8 million, like Raya and the Last Dragon, but not enough to crack $10 million. But still, $6 million in the pandemic is very good and a lot better than some of the other action thrillers out there like the marksman or the little things 
And the movie was also able to make a majority of its budget back. This movie was relatively cheaper than I thought. I thought it would at least cost $30 million, but it actually cost just $16 million to make, and it's already at $12 million worldwide. So I think it's safe to say that the movie's going to be able to make its budget back. And I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, despite this low opening, it was able to have strong holds because I've been hearing really good things from people who have seen this movie, and I definitely think maybe, like, well, maybe not definitely, but maybe if the right people who saw it encourage the people that didn't see it to go see it, and may, then maybe it can be just or not at least as successful as Raya and the Last Dragon, and it could become one of the most successful movies post-pandemic. So not a major opening to be sure of, but this is definitely, I think, one of those movies to keep your eye out on when it comes to how it does at the box office for sure and those were the top five domestic box office results but we're not quite done yet as we got another week ahead of us and new movies heading theaters and this week we got two movies the first one well not first since it comes out the other one but i'm going to save the other one for last is the unholy this is a new horror movie that I'm assuming is going to have some sort of commentary on the dangers of religion and also be a movie with ghosts and demons and such. Horror movies basically have all opened around the same. I think the last one was Freaky back in November, which opened to like around 3 million and then just kind of vanished, which is the same because that movie's really good. But I have a feeling that this movie will basically open around the same. Maybe 3 to 4 million throughout the weekend for sure. As even though I've been seeing tons of promotion for it, especially this week, they really want you to see this movie. I'm not sure if it's interested audiences around the country. But more importantly, it will be suffering from very stiff competition hitting theaters this week. Which is arguably the biggest movie of the year, seeing how there's little other big movies for it to compete with until probably the Mortal Kombat movie in April. And that is Godzilla vs. Kong. Now, the movie's already a hit. It opened internationally this weekend and made $122 million internationally worldwide. Which is incredible for a movie of this magnitude to release during this unprecedented time to open to these numbers is incredible but stateside that's where the bigger question is because how big will this movie be because so far the biggest movie of the year was well not year pandemic was wonder woman 1984 and that made like 16.7 million over the three-day weekend during the holidays this movie's opening on a Wednesday, so it gets an even bigger jump, and will play out through the weekend. And I think for the pandemic, it will open to probably the biggest opening for the post-pandemic. It will break Wonder Woman 1984's record, and will no doubt open to number one. Because like I said before, there's not really much competition. So far, it's the biggest movie of the year black widows in july fast and furious nines in june so its competition is very short right now and there are numerous reports on several theaters reporting that they have sold out all of their showings their imax theaters their digital theaters their matinee showings all sold out people really want to see this movie as soon as they can and that's great already a good sign and reviews have been good so far they've been better than king of the monsters so that's definitely uplifting to warner brothers so yeah i definitely think this will be a big hit for the studio and the biggest movie for a while but these are as always speculations and predictions as we will truly see how well this movie and the unholy do when they release theaters this week and on the next episode of box office chat and that's going to do it for this episode of box office chat what did you guys think of the results were you satisfied unsatisfied comment down below and let me know if you like this video hit the like button if you like this channel hit that subscribe button follow me on all the social media links right there and until next time guys stay sharp